We have actually got Samir Adwan, finance minister of Egypt, who was only just appointed as part of this new cabinet by President Hosni Mubarak just this week. He joins me on the line now. Good to have you with us, Mr. Adwan. Thank Could you, you tell me a little bit about the situation in your country right now? Uh, we've been getting reports of ATM machines being found empty. Banks are closed at the moment. Are those people who do have employment getting paid? <laughs> well, I think we... Uh... We all agree that uh, this is a tough situation. Uh, there is no doubt about it. Uh, but we have been taking steps to ease uh, the situation, especially for the Egyptian people. Uh, yesterday, I have issued uh, three, or I have taken three uh, steps. One is that salaries and pensions, in particular pensions, uh, should be dispensed. I have made an arrangement uh, with the governor of the central bank that pensioners can uh, throw their, uh, uh, their pension uh, from machines, uh, those who have cars and those are a million uh, is people. That, is, that with, uh, is that happening this week? Uh, that's happening today. today. That's happening today. And also, I have arranged uh, with, with the governor of the central bank and the minister of uh, labor uh, that salaries uh, could be dispensed been banked for security and uh, the cash taken to different uh, enterprises to pay uh, the monthly uh, salary. So, that's, Mr. That's one Wan, does that mean that yes. the banks won't be reopening anytime soon? <clears throat> the, the, the governor is trying to open the bank by to, uh, banks by tomorrow. Today, uh, BTM machines are working in secure places all over the country. But banks will be open by tomorrow and maximum by Sunday. Uh, th there, is, uh, there is no doubt about Mr. it. Mr. Adwan, how worried are you about yes. there being a surge of bank withdrawals by customers when the banks are mm -hmm. open? Well, you see, uh, I'm not... Uh, I'm, I'm watching the situation minute by minute. We have a central bank uh, which is fully in command of the of the banking sector but in a free economy we have chosen a free economy in a free market economy mm. you cannot stop people uh, behaving the way uh, they wish the, the major point of course is that the sooner we uh, settle this crisis mm. uh, the better for the economy it will be the level of unrest that we've been seeing, unprecedented protests in major cities across your country, this is going to have an effect on the appetite of Arab investors, foreign investors. They're going to be reluctant to come to Egypt now, aren't they? You must be very worried about that. I, I think I think it is uh, it is too early. I think are taking a wait and see uh, stand, which is quite uh, logical, quite uh, quite uh, quite reasonable. Our main concern is. Uh, to ensure salaries and pensions are paid, to ensure that food stuffs that are coming in the customs are released immediately without even uh, waiting for customs duties to be paid. They can pay them uh, later. Uh, I have created a fund of five billion Egyptian pounds to compensate for people who have been. Uh... Yes, I can hear you. And can you hear me? Yes, I, I can hear you, Mr. Adwan. I can hear you very well. And tourism going to be hit very hard by this unrest. I mean, with these remarkable scenes that we've been seeing, violence, looting in some of the big cities, it's going to take years for this industry to recover, right? Well, we hope, we hope, we hope not years. I think the, the, the thing is, the sooner we, uh, the situation is settled and the calm returns to the country, we, we can handle it. I'm quite confident because just before this crisis, the appetite for uh, foreign investors and Arab investors was really great as far as the Egyptian economy is concerned. The fundamentals were sound, so a return to normalcy is the key. Uh, to uh, the but, solution but of the How situation. difficult, but Mr. Erdogan, forgive me, but just how difficult is that, is that going to be? Uh, because your government now faces a prospect of losing revenue from both a tourism industry and foreign direct investment, two key sources of revenue for you. You already had problems with high levels of youth unemployment, high levels of inequality. How are you going to create yes. jobs? I think one, uh, one file at a time, but the, uh, the, the, the priority the priority is the priority. The priority is uh, to regain calm, and once uh, this is done, 
the, uh, the employment file would be the top of the agenda. The, we need, uh, we, we certainly need uh, non-traditional solutions. Uh, I have been discussing with other colleagues in the cabinet a national employment uh, scheme uh, which would start with the infrastructure. We invite the private sector to, uh, to share in a new, uh, a huge uh, investment in infrastructure. Uh, there is no doubt about it. This will uh, revive the economy. And uh, Mr. Uh, Edouan, you're part of a government now that could very well be on the brink of collapse. Do you think that the cabinet you are part of is going to survive, given the level of resentment against Mubarak on the streets right now? We, we are doing our job to save this country. That's why I think every single member of the, uh, of the cabinet uh, is, is, is doing. We are trying to save this country uh, from uh, any possible collapse or deterioration into, into chaos. So give me your number one priority right now with all these challenges that you are facing, Mr. Adwan. What is your number one priority? My number one priority, salaries and pensions reach people today. Tomorrow, the, the shops have food, uh, food staff. Uh, the people who have been uh, harmed by the demonstrators, and these are uh, mostly small enterprises, are compensated. Uh, uh, and then we turn to the employment, uh, the employment file immediately. Samir Adwan, Finance Minister of Egypt, good to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you.